guys, I am not kidding. Um, on Twitter and Instagram, I, I said, so I tweeted something to the effect of happiness looks great on you <sighs> for real. I, the truth in that statement is, is just top notch. I am Guys, I can't even begin to describe to you just how much happiness really does drastically affect your life. And for the positive, for the better, I have not been happier than what I am in this moment right now, taping this podcast with all of you. Um, seriously, I, I just want to smile and giggle and laugh all the time and just be so, as I have like a slinky fur in my eyelash, uh, just be so mindful of my blessings, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Um, you know, every single day we are so just weighed down to the point where I feel like we all need a forklift just to carry our baggage to get through the, from day to day, from the next day to the next and so forth. And then before we know it, we blink and we're like, wow, you know, uh, X amount of time has gone by. That's so depressing. Um, I want to be more in the present and more happy with all of the battles that I have lost and won that people don't even know about. You know, all those silent struggles that no one talks about, uh, you know, to the point where people think so many things are overnight. I, I hate hearing this overnight success. Oh my God, a success that came out of nowhere. It's like, nah, nah. hold the phone, pop the brakes. Like success is not overnight nine times out of 10. It's kind of, I think the best way to describe it guys is it's like an iceberg. You know that you only see a tiny little bit above the surface. The rest is just this big giant iceberg under the water, which makes it so incredibly dangerous for boats and everything else, right? Well, success is kind of like that. You don't see the grind, the struggles, the sacrifices, all these things that a lot of people that want what other successful people have that they're not willing to actually do like those successful people did. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. So I find that overnight successes really took a long time. It was not overnight. And you know, it, oh, you're so lucky. No, hold the phone. Uh, it seems the harder I work, the more I hustle, the luckier I get. Funny how that works, right? You know, so kind of watch the things that you see people saying and find people whose vibe meshes with your vibe. You know, don't don't be around people that suit your, your right now. Find people that suit where you want to be five years from now, 10 years from now, you know? Um, like I said in a previous podcast and on my YouTube channel for a vlog, if you are the smartest, most successful person in that room, you are probably in the wrong room. Uh, find a new room. Always be learning. Always be trying to improve yourself. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I am so just filled with joy and happiness. Even though my life isn't perfect, I am an imperfect person. Things have not always gone the way I worked hard for them to go and things like that, you know. But I'm here today. I survived so far 100% of my worst days in my life. And I want to share that with you all so that maybe we can all get in on tough conversations like this, which was the whole point of the Talks with Taylor Hendricks podcast on Russo'sBrand.com. You know, talk about these things so that we can all be more empowered. We can all be more informed. We can all be able to make better decisions with information because we're finding out what didn't, didn't work for other people and trying to find commonalities and trying to find things that, you know, work because there isn't one size fits all for everyone. And we're all different, wonderful, amazing, talented, unique individuals that exist for a reason. So of course, not everything is going to work for everyone. There's not, you know, whatever. But that doesn't mean that listening to other people have these tough conversations. That doesn't mean you can't find something that does work for you, you know? Um, and so that's one of the things that I really wanted to dive into today and not just do some of our normal segments. Um, those, those can come at any time, but right now I was really, really feeling this, you know, today I realized, and I was so excited. I saw this last night and I waited until today to post it. My third children's book turned a year old and I am so incredibly proud. Uh, you know, that, that book got mentioned in, uh, Yahoo finance, which was so amazing, you know, and people think, well, why is that such a big deal? Well, it's Yahoo finance, but also I'm doing all of these things without being a former WWE superstar. 
You know, I am not signed to a different company. I'm not signed to AEW. I'm not signed to Impact Wrestling anymore. I'm not signed to WWE. So I am doing this all on my own without like a, uh, you know, the, 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 the WWE marketing machine and all this other stuff. So to me, it, it's so much harder to do, but it's so worth it. You know, it makes all of those, you know, hard times, all of those moments of self-doubt that you had to carry yourself through worth it. Um, you know, I, I talked about this with Busted Open Nation on Nation's Corner, and I've even talked about this with Vince Russo on his podcast on this channel. It's that, you know, why not me? Why not now? Why do we always postpone different things? Um, because we don't have the perfect circumstances. We don't have the, the perfect look yet. We don't have the perfect body type yet. We don't have the perfect set of circumstances or the know-how to make crazy fancy videos. Just start making videos. The talent and, 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 and everything will come if you are consistent. Um, and so for me, when I wanted to, you know, start doing this podcast and writing my books and stuff, I said, why not me? Why not now? It doesn't have to be perfect because life isn't perfect. We are imperfect people. That's what makes us so unique and amazing and makes us have such interesting stories throughout our lives. It's because we are imperfect people. We are imperfect human beings. I think part of being a human being is that you are perfectly imperfect the way you are. And it's your responsibility to improve on yourself every single day. You know, you're not competing against everybody else. You're competing with who you were the day before. You know, what are you doing that's going to get you closer to where you want to be? You know, not everybody's meant to be a CEO. That's okay. You don't got to be. You know, not everybody's meant to be a teacher. Not everybody's meant to be a professional wrestler. Not everybody's meant to be, you know, a president or, you know, a law enforcement officer or, you know, a parent even. You know, we all have to improve on ourselves and hold ourselves accountable. You know, um, and that starts with making small promises to yourself and keeping them. It all starts with saying things to yourself in the mirror every single day that you like about yourself or that you feel blessed to have. You know, even if you don't feel it, eventually, if you say it enough, you will. You'll train your brain to feel it. You need to start being more positive and give yourself more credit and being more consistent with yourself. If you can keep promises for everybody else and all this other stuff, why can't you keep promises for yourself? Even if, even if it's just, I'm not going to press the snooze button anymore. Every day when my alarm goes off, I get up. That's one promise to start. That's one goal to start. It starts off small. If you guys have been fans with, of mine for any length of time, you know that I am a huge firm believer in small things really do add up to big things, which means there can be amazing things in the world that always start off so small. Um, and so I think it all starts with that. And that is, is some of the things that I have been thinking about today as my book turns a year old. Nosy Rosie and the Secret Surprise is officially a year old and I am so proud of that book even if it didn't necessarily turn out the way I had originally envisioned it. It's because my life didn't turn out originally as I had envisioned it as a young 13 year old girl. It's because when we're that young and we don't really know how the life, we don't really know how the world works. We don't know how life is supposed to be. We don't even know who we are as individuals yet. You know, so when we take off the road color, rose colored goggles and we go out into the world and we start figuring those things out, we have to learn to adapt and pivot. And sometimes that's a really hard pill to swallow, but it, what you do, it can also be empowering or it can be crippling. And to me, I would much rather be empowered, um, you know, and that took a very long time for me to be able to see and understand and say, but now that I have, it just brings me so much joy for all the amazing things that I've been able to accomplish as so many people said I would never be able to do. And even if they didn't turn out exactly the way I hoped and worked for, it doesn't mean that they aren't accomplishments nonetheless. And sometimes that's hard to say, but other times it's like, wow, I did some epic shizit, even though basic people said I would never amount to anything. You know, and so with this book, Nosy Rosie and the Secret Surprise, that's what's so much in this book. There's so much of me in this book. Um, you know, I started writing it when I was in TNA after, you know, doing my gut check. I put it down. I got lost. Uh, you know, I picked it up again after going to WWE multiple times. And then I got lost again. And then I finished it after I left Ring of Honor. You know, it's been just a wild, crazy journey. And there's so much of that in that book because there's so many lessons that we end up learning as adults that I feel will make us such better, more capable, stronger people as a society if we learn that so much younger in life. But a lesson learned at any point is still a good lesson to learn. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't, I'm not sad that I had to learn those lessons. I think it makes me the person that I am today. But trauma does not get credit for that, okay? You know, Trauma does not get to take credit for that. I get to take credit for that. 
you get to take credit for that, not your trauma. And I think a lot of people, they focus on the trauma, but well, you know, I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't go through that. You're right. But don't let the trauma have more credit than you because your trauma didn't get you through that. Your adaptability and your gumption as a human being is what got you through whatever you went through, not your trauma. So today I've just been thinking so much about that. Um, and it really just made me glow from the inside out. Um, and I was like, you know what? Today has been a roller coaster since I got up this morning at like 4.30 this morning. I know that's crazy, but you know, I get up very early. <laughs> Also never sleeps. <laughs> but um, you know, so it's been like a roller coaster of a day. There's so much going on. And, you know, so it, it depending on what part of the day was, you know, kind of dictating how I was feeling. But then I was like, you know what? I feel this innate joy and this motivation and this positivity and just this smile. Like I want to keep smiling today. And I wanted to share that with all of you. 